हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू कैरियर फॉर हैदराबाद पाउट बाय आडर 24/7 स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी द इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यूज बट बिफोर गोइंग इनटू दिस सेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर YouTube चैनल शेयर द चैनल विद योर फ्रेंड्स डू लाइक आवर वीडियोस कमेंट आवर वीडियोस एंड आल्सो डाउनलोड द कैरियर फॉर हैदराबाद ऐप वी विल प्रोवाइड लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन we currently provide coaching for bank ssc rrb as well as for sa constable so do download the app we'll provide the link in the description as well as comment section let us go into the first mcq for today the stranger in the mirror is a autobiography of the stranger in the mirror is a autobiography of rakesh om prakash mehra so rakesh om prakash mehra's autobiography is called the stranger in the mirror so he is a ad director turned film maker so film maker rakesh om prakash mehra announced his autobiography so it is co-authored by reeta rammurthy gupta so both of them has authored his autobiography so this autobiography will hit the stands on july 27 which is published by the rupa publications so he is an ad maker who turned into director very famous for directing films like rang de basanti delhi 6 bag mil ka bag as well as the recently released too far okay so these are the details about rakesh om prakash mehra book it's stranger in the mirror next question you grow capital announced a launch of co lending partnership for micro small medium enterprises with which of the following bank you grow capital so they announced the launch of the co lending partnership for msmes with which of the following bank the answer is bob bank of baroda bob bank of baroda so bank of baroda and you grow capital are in a type for msme co lending so they launched a program called pratham under this pratham they will provide loans up to rupees 1000 crore for msme so this program is launched under the rbi's revised co lending guidelines so the main aim is to disperse this entire 1000 crores by the financial year end so by this year end they will dis uh, distribute all these 1000 crore loans the loans will range from rupees 50 lakh to rupees 2.5 crore at an interest rate of 8% and a maximum tenure of 120 months so this will enable all the msmes uh, uh, to develop their companies to establish new companies and these loans will be provided by the 200 channel touch points uh, around nine locations in the country by the you grow capital so please remember all these points as well as bank of baroda headquarters vadodara Bank of Baroda established 1908. You Grow Capital Mumbai. You Grow Capital established in 1993. So please remember all these points. The next question: Recently, Vice President Venkayan Naidu has released a book, Pallalku Patta Bishekam. So this book is associated with which of the following topics? So Pallalku Patta Bishekam is a book released by Venkayan Naidu, the Vice President of India. so this book is all about the rural india and agriculture so this book is about rural india and agriculture so this book was authored by the former mp elmanchali shivaji so this book is based on rural india and agriculture so vice president he said that uh, the villages and agriculture are naturally connected and we need to address this issues ho holistically to bring gram swarajyam to our villages to bring village independence to our villages okay the next question para para shooter rubina francis created a world record at the ongoing para sport cup in peru she belongs to which state so para shooter rubina francis she created a world record at the ongoing para sport cup in peru she belongs to which of the following state the answer is madhya pradesh so para shooter rubina francis she belongs to madhya pradesh she has won gold in the 10 meter air pistol event for women and she scored 238.1 points a very highest till date so it's a new world record so earlier world record is under the name of aishigal um, pelivangal of uh, turkey so her record was broken by our madhya pradesh own rubina francis so this uh, win also secured her quota for india at the tokyo summer paralympics 2020 so with, with this event she also secured a seat in the tokyo summer olympics so over the years she has won nearly 15 medals and currently she is trained under jaspal rana who is a former shooter and the coach of indian junior indian pistol shooting team okay so these are all the details about rubina francis so please remember next question 
Hira Sarabhai has passed away recently. She is the co-founder of which of the following institute? So, Gira Sarabhai is the co-founder of National Institute of Design. National Institute of Design. So, she is a pioneer of the design education in India. She played a very vital role in establishing several other institutions and remarkable contributions in the field of art and architecture. And she is the daughter of the industrialist Ambalal Sarabhai and sister of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. You know the Vikram Sarabhai, the famous personality related to ISRO and DRDU. So, she is the uh, sister of Vikram Sarabhai. She also established the Calico Museum of Textiles. Uh, uh, this uh, museum has rare specimens of textiles from different parts of the world. So, this is the importance of the textile museum. She was also trained at the uh, Thalesian uh, West Studio in Arizona with the noted architect and designer Frank Lloyd Wright. So, she studied in the Thalesian uh, West Studio in Arizona. So, these are all the details about Gira Sarabhai. So, please remember, very, very important. The next question, who is the author of the book? Bank with a Soul, Equitus. Who is the author of the book? Bank with a Soul, Equitus. So, the answer is C.K. Garyali. So, C.K. Garyali is the author of the book, Bank with a Soul, Equitus. So, this book is written by the retired IAS officer, C.K. Garyali, who is the founder trustee of Edit. Equitus Development Initiative Trust. So, this book is a journey about her Equitus Small Finance Bank as well as Edict in transforming the lives of women with frequent social reforms initiatives, helping them to set up micro enterprises and pioneering the financial inclusivity right. Okay. So, this book is a journey how Equitus Small Finance Bank as well as Edict Equitus Development Initiative Trust which helped the women, rural women, mainly rural women to uh, like to set up their own micro enterprises. Okay. So, very simple. This book is all about these uh, micro finance system. The next question, in India, the National Broadcasting Day is observed every year on. In India, the National Broadcasting Day is observed every year on July 23rd. So, July 23rd is observed as the National Broadcasting Day. The day is to celebrate the radio, radio, which is a very key part of people's life in India, both as a medium of entertainment as well as we, as well as for news. So the first radio broadcast was made on July 23rd, 1927 from Bombay station. This station was owned by a private company called the Indian Broadcasting Company. Later on, government took over this company in April 1st, 1930 on an experimental basis. And it came into the government control permanently in 1922. So, on 8th of June 1936, so this uh, Indian State Broadcasting Service was called All India Radio. And in 1956, it came to be known as Akashavani. Okay. So, please uh, try to remember all these points. And the motto of All India Radio is Bahujan Hitai, Bahujan Sukhai. Okay. So, please try to remember all these points. We'll see the detailed story of All India Radio, which is the largest public broadcasting organization, also called as Prachar, Prasar Bharati, which has 470 broadcasting center, which cover the 92% of country's area and 99% of the population. So it is currently broadcasted in 23 languages, 179 dialects. So it can reach 150 countries through medium and short wave services. So, they new, recently launched a news on air mobile app which has 1 million subscribers. On this app, you can listen all the radio channels of All India Radio in the digital form. So these are all the benefits of news on air mobile app. We already discussed once about this news on air mobile app. Okay. Please remember all these points. Next question The World Federation of Neurology celebrates World Brain Day on every year on which date the world federation of neurology celebrates world brain day every year on which date the answer is july 22nd national broadcasting july 23rd world brain day july 22nd so please remember so world brain day is celebrated by the world federation of neurology so they will focus on different theme every year so this year they will pro uh, they will provide public awareness and social media activities 
to promote a movement to stop multiple sclerosis. So this year team is stop multiple sclerosis. Stop multiple sclerosis. So this World Brain Day advocates early diagnosis of the multiple sclerosis and to help to improve the quality of life of a patient. So multiple sclerosis will cause a disabling disease that affects mainly the brain and the spine. So it disturbs the communication between brain and the rest of the body. So in this condition, the immune system will start to attack myelin, so which is a protective layer around every nerve. So myelin is a protective layer around every nerve and this the immune system, our body immune system will start attacking myelin which will lead to inflammation and temporary lesions. Okay. So some of the symptoms in this multiple sclerosis are difficulty in walk walking, fatigue, vision problems, clarity of speech, lack of coordination, weakness in limbs and dizziness. There is no cure, uh, perfect cure for multiple sclerosis and there is no cause. What is the cause of the disease? Okay. So be careful, multiple sclerosis. And according to the world, uh, according to the world, person of neurology, Multiple sclerosis affects the more than 2.8 million people of all ages. It affects 2.8 million of all ages. So please try to remember all these points. This is the background of the story. World Brain Day. Okay. The next question. Which of the following can identify by Surabi E tag? So which of the following can be identified by Surabi E tag? Okay. So the answer is cattle based on muzzle. Cattle based on muscle. Okay. So, Dwar E, Dwara E Diary. So, basically, uh, currently it operates in Tamil Nadu. So, Dwara E Diary, it partnered with the IFCO Tokyo General Insurance for Artificial Intelligence Led Tag. So, this is a artificial intelligence driven tag. Okay. So, they launched this Sorabi E Tag mainly to identify cattle. So, this will provide a cattle insurance products. This, help, this will help in providing cattle insurance providers in partnership with the IFCO Tokyo General Insurance. So, uh, these muzzle images of cattle. So, this is called muzzle. So, you will generally find uh, this muzzle placed around a dog's pet dog. So, this is called muzzle. So, this muzzle images of cattle are collected through the Sorabi mobile app. Uh, they are stored in the app. So, uh, with these uh, images, you can identify your uh, cattle. And you can have your insurance products. And if, the, if there is any issue to the cattle, you can avail the insurance product. Okay. Very simple. So, why do we use muzzles? Why not the ear tags? So, you can see in the picture, the cow is having an ear tag. So, this is called the polyuterine ear tag. PU tag. Okay. So, these tags are easily tampered. They can tamper and you can duplicate. You can do fraud. So, that is why they created this muzzle. Uh, based uh, uh, tagging. So, uh, if you take RFID, there is also RFID, in injectable RFID tags. They are so expensive and you need skilled. So, that is why we are not using RFID tags. This is very easy. Muzzle, muzzle is very easy. Muzzle based tagging is very easy. So, remember points about uh, the IFCO, Tokyo General Insurance Company. So, it is headquartered in uh, Gurugaon, established in 2000, which is a joint venture between Indian Farmer Fertilizer Cooperative Limited, the world's largest fertilizer manufacturer, as well as Tokyo Marine Group, which is one of the largest insurance, insurance companies in Japan. Okay. So, please try to remember all these points. Next, who among the following has been named the AIFF Men's Footballer of the Year 2020-21? So, who is named the AIFF Men's Footballer of the Year 2020-21? The answer is Sandesh Jinga. So, Sandesh Jinga is named the AIFF Men's Footballer of the Year. So, uh, this uh, uh, person, personality is a famous defender of Indian team. So, Sandesh Jinga, he was given the AIFF Men's Footballer of the Year. As well as midfielder Suresh, J Suresh Singh Wang Jam was the uh, was given as the emerging player of the year award. So please remember these two awards very very important. So AFF All India Football Federation. So they gave two awards. One is uh, for 
the defender Sandish uh, Jinga, who is the men's footballer of the year, as well as for midfielder Suresh Singh Wanjang, he was given the Emerging Player of the Year award. So this award was given on the basis of votes from the ISL, Indian Super League, as well as I-League club coaches, okay? So let us see some points about the All India Football Federation, which is the governing body of the Association Football in India, mainly under the jurisdiction of Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. It is one of the founding members of Asian Football Confederation, which oversees football in Asia. So the All India Football Federation established in 1937, and headquartered in Dwarka, Delhi. So please remember all these points. Static points very, very important. Next question. UNESCO removes which of the following from World Heritage Site? So UNESCO removes which of the following from the World Heritage Site? The answer is River Pool. So a river, a Liverpool so was removed from the World Heritage Site. So UNESCO has voted to remove the Liverpool Maritime mercantile city from the world heritage site so this decision was taken after nearly nine years it was put in the endanger list so this uh, status was removed because there was irreversible loss of attributes uh, which has a lot of value uh, heritage value so this liverpool has lost lot of uh, attributes so that is why this was removed so this also uh, unesco says that there is a overdevelopment in the liverpool which uh, lost the nativity, the naturality of the area, as well as they are planning new football teams, uh, all uh, sophisticated technologies they are bringing in this area, so which is uh, removing the naturality of the city. So that is why this Liverpool uh, was removed from the UNESCO World Heritage List. So earlier, Apple Valley in Dresden, in Germany, as well as Arabian Oryx Sanctuary in, uh, in Oman, both were removed from the list. So, Abel Valley in Dresden and Arabian Oryx Sanctuary in Oman, both are removed from this list. And now, Liverpool has joined the list, the third property to lose its World Heritage status. Okay, so please remember all these points. The World Heritage Sites are designated by UNESCO for having a cultural and natural heritage around the world, which are considered to be having outstanding value of humanity. So, UNESCO headquarters Paris. UNESCO established in 1945 and UNESCO abbreviation United Nations Educational Scientific Cultural Organization. United Nations Educational Scientific Cultural Organization. So please try to remember all these points. Very, very important. Next question. Who has been picked up as the All India Football Federation Men's Emerging Player of the Year Award? We already discussed Men's Emerging Player of the Year Award goes to Suresh Singh Wangjam. Suresh Singh Wangjam, you can see in the picture, he is Suresh Singh Pangjam. He is given the Emerging Player of the Year Award. Okay, so please remember all these points. Next question, what is the theme of World Brain Day? We already discussed. What is the theme of World Brain Day? Stop Multiple Sclerosis. Stop Multiple Sclerosis is the theme of World Brain Day. The next question is, what is the theme of G20 Environment Ministers Meeting 2021? So, G20 Environment Ministers Meeting to be held in Italy in October 2021. So, what is the theme of this year is People, Planet, Prosperity. People, Planet, Prosperity. So, Italy is the president's, uh, president of this G20 Summit this year. So, it is coming up with a uh, theme called People, P Planet, Prosperity. So, this meeting will happen in October 2021. And Italy is the host country this year. So, G20 aims to ensure a shift international response enable to procure, provide equitable worldwide access to diagnostics, thera uh, therapeutics, vaccines and to build up resilience to future health related shocks. And India is represented by the delegation of, uh, delegation led by Union Environment Minister Bhupendra Yadav. So, India is also participating in this G20 summit because India is also a member. So, G20 has 19 countries and European Union. So, totally called G20, 19 countries plus European Union. Let us remember all the 19 countries, very, very important, very simple countries. Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, Germany, France, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, 
टर्की यूनाइटेड किंगडम एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका यूनाइटेड किंगडम एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका सो प्लीज रिमेम्बर ऑल दी नाइनटीन कंट्रीज प्लस यूरोपियन यूनियन विच फॉर्म्स दी जी ट्वेंटी जी ट्वेंटी एस्टेब्लिश दी नाइनटीन नाइनटी नाइन एंड फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड एंड एट so by the head of the government or head of the state or by different important ministers like the finance minister foreign minister or high ranking officials so this is about g20 let us see the last question for today kalema mani sikkal or baskaran he passed away recently so he is famously known for so kalema mani sikkal or baskaran he passed away recently he is famously known for violin so he is a famous violinist So famous violinist, so noted Carnatic classical violinist, Kalaima Mani Sikkal R Baskaran passes away. So he started learning violin at the age of eleven from his teachers Tiruvarur Subba Iyer and also Mayiram Govind Rajan Pillai. So he is a A grade artist of the All India Radio. He served for All India Radio Chennai station for two decades and also as an executive committee member. of the tiruvayur tyaga brahma festival for two decades in his five decades of musical career he bestowed with a lot of laurels awards and honors so he is our famous violinist sikkal r baskaran with the title kalaima mani okay so please remember very very important so these are all the mcqs for today please subscribe the channel share the channel with your uh, friends so we are call, coming with lot of good content so tomorrow we have monday special weekly session do follow the session we have a lot of good response for the monday weekly session so come and join the monday weekly session and also banking awareness will start soon maybe probably today or tomorrow you will get videos on banking awareness exclusively for sbi clerk mains so do subscribe our youtube channel join our telegram channel for the pdf and download the career power hyderabad app we provide coaching for bank ssc rrb as well as for sai constable we will provide the link in the description our offline classes are running so do visit our branches you can call the numbers you can visit the branch for further details thank you students we will meet in the next session